Hi, I'm Stephanie, and welcome back to Building Your Path to Success. On this channel, I like to share a lot of information in short periods of time for both high school and college students to help them build a meaningful resume. If you like this type of information, please give me that thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell. Today, specifically, I'm going to be talking to undergraduate students. Let me just stop. High school students are saying, where is my information? In the fall, most of the information is going to be for college students. As we roll more into winter and spring, high school uh, opportunities will begin to open. There have been a few that have been um, in the fall that I posted, but you know the deadline for those have passed. So I will keep everyone updated, but right now, is more of a focus for the college students because their applications are a little bit more in depth and that, um, it's a bigger pool that they have to apply from. So let's jump into it for the day for my college students. If you're interested in building a meaningful packed resume and you are in STEM, this may be the opportunity for you. So we're gonna talk about Drexel University, which is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Drexel University College of Medicine Summer Undergraduate Research Fellowship. So this is at Drexel University with their College of Medicine, and this is their research fellowship. We're gonna talk about who can apply, when is it gonna be held, all this good stuff. One of the, and there's some things about this that I like, and some things that are a little bit more disappointing compared to some other programs. However, um, this program is for undergraduates who are seeking the opportunity to explore biomedical research careers. And there's many, but this um, some of the things we're going to go through right off the bat. You must have an interest in pursuing biomedical research, either PhD, MD, or MD slash PhD program uh, in graduate school and good standing at your current university means that you could go to any other university. You don't have to go to Drexel for this program. Sophomores and juniors, as of spring 2023, are given priority, although freshmen may apply. Ding, ding, freshmen may apply. I would apply anyway. I may not be uh, as high up on the eligibility list if I was a freshman, but put your hat in the ring in case something happens and you may be um, called in. Here we go. Seniors expected to graduate in 2023 are not eligible. Selection will be based on students' academic undergraduate record, research experience, letters of recommendations, and statements of research interests and career goals. You're going to, how do you apply? Now that's pretty much how they're going to select who they're looking for, but how do you go here and apply? You, first of all, it's an online application. You're going to submit that application. You make sure your email address is correct. A lot of times that keeps people from being um, eligible because they don't get the information or responses. Um, the deadline is Wednesday, January 4th, which is fast. It's rolling up. Um, December's around the corner. Most things I'm posting, the deadline's in February, March. So this January 4th, 2023 deadline is meaning they're moving fast. You'll be notified in March if you get this and uh, everything, all materials, including recommendations must be submitted by the deadline. And, it's, and with, why that is important is because you'll hear me sometimes say, deadline is this date and they extend the time for recommendations. That is not the case with this particular program. You must have two letters of recommendations and a CV. Official transcripts um, can be uploaded with your um, application. Excuse me. For your letters of recommendation, they want them to come from science faculty who have taught you on letterhead. Now, that's all of the important stuff, but let me go with some other things. For this program, same as last year, the stipend is $3,000. I know there's a lot of programs that are given $5,000, $6,000. This one is only $3,000. You have to also commute, meaning you have to live in the Philadelphia area or stay with your Aunt Mary, Aunt Becky. 
you have to stay where you can commute to this program. In addition to that, when you apply, you have to use the address that you're going to use for the summer. Now, this could be a problem because if I had a child, I may put them in an international house or rent an apartment for something like this for this program so that they can get the experience to help separate them from the pack. So that $3,000 that you are making will be used essentially to help you stay somewhere. Can't do that with this because you have to have the address when you apply. So call up your aunts, your uncles, your cousin, whoever your family, have your parents call their friends so you can have an address to use if you you know are good in good standing and if you're interested in this field. Again, this one is $3,000. There are many others. If you're interested in biomedical research and careers, I list several other REUs and other programs but this one, if you're in the Philadelphia area, it may be a great opportunity for you. You could go home, and but you will be working about 40 hours a week. That's with any of these programs. REUs, SURF, um, this fellowship program, you're going to be putting in your time. That's what makes it really good. When you're in labs, you don't have 40 hours a week to spend in a lab. You're in and out. Here, you're going to have opportunity to implement all the things that you've been learning in school in their labs, in your classrooms, and meeting people with other interests. So I will leave a link in the description below. Um, if you're interested, remember, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Until next time, take care, and please leave a comment and let me know if you've applied. Thank you.